Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Cobra here, and we're just going to go into another game, uh, another video on the game, The Grand Mafia. Uh, this is going to be kind of similar to the last one. The last one I did was on how to have a good be defense for your base. This one's going to be also PvP related. This is going to be how um, strategies to do a good attack for PvP. I uh, hope this helps you guys. Um, if it does, please like and subscribe. Subscribe. The more support I get, the more videos I will keep making. So we're going to jump right into it now. Um, so there's two main strategies I want to discuss with you guys. The first strategy is the strategy of I don't have a lot of troops. I have one decent army, but I can't defend if I get attacked while I'm attacking. So if you have less than, you know, Say you have a march of 200,000 troops. If you have less than 400,000 troops, you're going to want to use this. Because when you send that first army out, you're going to be left open, vulnerable. If you get hit, they're going to kill everything you have left because you won't have your strongest stuff. You'll have half the troops there, etc. So what you're going to want to do for this one is you're going to want to... Well, first, we're going to go to where we are going to attack. So I'm going to go over here, and we're going to go to this hive right here. And um, let's see. I'll go right here. Okay, so for this one, what you want to do is you want to get all the troops out of your base that you will not be using to attack. So... Start by using your safe house. Hide it for as long as you need. Always better to just put the max. So we're going to go and we're going to be like, okay. Start with the bottom. We're going to hide all of these troops. Because I'm not going to use these to attack. Then we're going to use all these. We're going to hide them. Okay. Then any remainders. You're going to want to click Occupy and fill in more. So there we go. And one more set. So we'll leave the rest of the speed demons. We'll put, say, actually, we'll send a few. We'll do that. There. So now, my total troops here, I'll show you. This is all I have left. Granted, I can use a little bit more of that for an attack, but for the sake of this video, I just want to, to do it like this. So now, if someone is to attack me while I have my main army out, they're not going to hit anything except traps. My influence is not going to drop. Granted, yes, they can attack these in theory, but you know it's kind of uh, bad sportsmanship for you to just attack people's camped troops. Um, so it's definitely safer. If you need, you can always just, you know, camp them way out here, something like that, because then people aren't going to be looking for them. But the point of this is, say I were to attack, um, you know, we'll attack this guy. So I'm going to, you always want to make sure you keep your underboss, which it looks like I hid mine in my safe house, so he's safe. So we're going to put on some people... We'll do this, and then send all of your troops, and then we will attack. It's going to break my protection, but that is okay. Okay. So now, if someone's to attack me, you can see I have no troops, and my underboss is not here. I will lose nothing but traps. This is what you want to do if you do not have the troops to defend. However, if you do have a good amount of troops, for example... I have hundreds of thousands of troops. If someone's to attack me, and you'll see right now it's, this is going to come back, the only person that can beat me right now with all of these troops is going to be the top person in the city. And they barely beat me. This happened yesterday. But this is because I have... Let's see. It's not going to tell me my total. Um, if I go to my wall, it should. You can see right here, 
got my troops back. I have 700,000. So even with my main troops out, I still have 500,000 troops home. Now for this one, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take off, other than your underboss, the ones you're going to use for your main army. So you're going to put on whatever you're not using, but that are good. So we do something like this. And then that way, when I send out an attack on someone, for example, this guy, and we'll send out him, we'll send out, you want to make sure not to use the ones that are on your wall. So we'll send out this. We'll send out an army. Okay, attack. Now. You're going to go into your city. You're going to see on the wall, underboss is the exclusion because I always send him out because you have the equipment and everything. But you'll notice that these four are still on my wall. So you want to keep your second string enforcers, so good ones, but that are not your ones used for your main army. This way, if I get attacked, I still have 500,000 troops and four of my five people here. So that's going to be the second strategy. Like I said, this requires that you feel confident in your ability to defend your base. 500,000 troops, only a few people can beat that in the city. You know, I feel confident in that. Now, if I was in an older city, obviously, I'm going to want millions of troops because they're going to hit a lot harder. But this is still a fairly new city, so my troops would be okay. So those are the two beginner strategies for attacking that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, so if you don't know how to best attack to be safe, you want to follow one of these two. So just a quick recap with that. The first strategy, if you do not have a lot of troops, you want to uh, you want to camp your troops. You want to hide them in the safe house and then just attack with one army only. That'll get you better control. If you get hit while you're attacking, you're fine. The second one, if you have a lot of troops, make sure you don't put your ones you're going to send on your march on your wall. So that way you're still ready to defend. But that's all you need to remember just for basic attacks. There are more advanced strategies, but you know we might go over those in a later uh, video. Hope this is helpful to you guys. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. And I'll see you next time.